the day, elephants are seen as one of the most beautiful, intelligent, and majestic animals in the entire animal kingdom. However, this differs starkly from their impression in ancient times. However, it was not just their size and force that made them that made them terrifying. It was also their intelligence. How many of us are probably aware of Romans uh, using uh, lions, bears, snakes, and wild dogs to kill criminals or prisoners in the arena? Many of us may be less familiar with elephants used as executioners, despite the fact this was commonplace throughout Asia and North Africa in antiquity. The elephant differs from less intelligent animals, as it can be trained to torture, and can also be taught to respond to voice commands. The earliest example of an elephant being used as an executioner is that of Perdiccas, who sentenced, in the aftermath of Alexander's death, 300, of, uh, 300 mutinous soldiers to death by trampling by elephants. However, as time went on, the method of elephant execution would get steadily more and more elaborate. One Seljuk Sultan had an elephant who was trained that upon hearing the verdict guilty, he would pick up the condemned and throw him high into the air with enough force that he would die upon hitting the ground again. I wasn't too sure this was actually possible for an elephant to do, but I've done some research and it seems to look like it can. However, the most innovative elephant executioners, uh, as you can imagine, took place in India and Sri Lanka, particularly under the reign of the Mughal sultans, with many recorded instances of traitors and criminals being crushed by elephants for the sultans and presumably the elephants' amusement. Some such elephants were even taught to use their tusks and, and feet, which had been fitted with knives in order to slice their victims to pieces. And while that all sounds pretty grim, that's actually one of the less grim stories I have for you. For you. Emperor Akbar was said to have an elephant who tortured a prisoner for five days without killing him. Um, that must have been pretty freaking terrifying for that man to be trapped in an elephant enclosure for five days. The elephant used to take him out and slowly sort of roll him against the ground, cracking his bones. However, in Sri Lanka, there was an account recorded by a traveller, Robert Knox, of an elephant who... Uh, had been practiced to hold the prisoner in place and then pluck his limbs off with his trunk. Um, obviously this wouldn't actually finish the victim until he had, was completely without limbs and the elephant had put one foot on his head and one foot on his chest and finally squished the life out of him. Rather unfortunately this, uh, you know, quite unique and interesting practice was uh, stamped out by, by uh, European colonialists in uh, India and Sri Lanka and now almost all elephants are either unemployed or working degrading jobs in circuses. So next time you see an elephant, you know, wasting its time painting a picture or playing the piano rather badly, just be thankful it has a creative outlet.